everybody. Welcome to the fifth episode of the Powered by Forever podcast. As you can see, I'm with a very special guest. Oh, no, actually, no. <laughs> Greg Mons is our, our co-host today. So, Greg, it's good to have you with us. And we'll explain where we are in a minute because it's a very special place. But I don't want to um, not introduce you guys first. I know everybody knows who you are. Um, we have the very special... Um, I, I, most successful FBOs in the history of forever, I believe. Rolf Kipp and his beautiful wife, Dominic Kipp, are with us. So let's give them a round of applause real quick. And it's our first podcast with a live audience. Live audience. You can't see live them. Live audience, yeah. Woo! Yeah, we paid them all to be here. Yeah. <laughs> They earned the privilege of being here because, folks, we are on the boat. We are rocking the boat as we speak. We're on the Explorer of the Sea, somewhere off the coast of Italy slash Croatia, Serbia. And we're heading south now towards Dubrovnik and we'll be steaming through the night. So actually, this is very fitting because sitting by you is such a unique seismic moment for me the ground is actually shaking. I know. Yeah, it is. Can you feel the shake, the ground shaking? And that's because the kips are in the house. That's exactly why. So uh, it's, it's an amazing environment. I wish we could show you outside, but literally the ocean is streaming by. But as we start every podcast, it's with a toast. So we have something. Oh, today is going to be a 3.30. Something familiar to you guys. Yeah, so there we go. Hopefully it doesn't drip water on you. Gregster. Yes, sir. There you, you go. And we start every, every podcast. I don't know why this started, but it seems to make sense to me. We've got our 330 aloe vera gel. And this is from our Italian market, I would imagine. Yes, it so, is. So let me get in here. And here's to episode five of uh, Powered by Forever. Yeah. Salut. 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 So, so good. Oh, it is good. What do they say in Germany for cheers? Schall, Schall? Prost. Prost? I know that's in Switzerland. Prost. 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 Yeah, Prost. Prost. It's in Germany. Prost in Germany. I, I, it's a little different. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's it like... It always is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys have a disagreement at home, is it in high German, Swiss German, or is it in regular German? Hi, German. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sounds more serious. <laughs> I wouldn't understand anything if she would speak Swiss German to me. Oh, yeah. So that's why we have to do it in high German. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, it's, it's wonderful to, to be with you. Thank you so much for um, being so generous with your time, your knowledge, your experience. And that's not just here today in this podcast. That's through the last, since 1995, Rolf, you first joined forever in 1995 right long time ago almost 30 years tell us about that what happened tell us about the journey what made you come to us so i was really looking for something different of what i had so i've been in the, the sporting goods industry before i studied economics and marketing sales and um, i was looking for something new so the new way of doing business for the future. And I was sent out from my company to look on different distribution ways. And I was really looking. And um, yeah, by that way, I found network marketing first. And I made my experiences in different network marketing companies to see what's really working, what I'm looking for, what really makes sense. And um, yeah, I found out what is important for a network company to, uh, you want to, or where it's realistic to become really successful and not only for a couple of days, months or years. So sustainable success, yeah, success for a lifetime maybe. This is what we promote in network. So you start, you build something and you can live with that um, and you can get old with that. And um, after knowing what I was looking for, so it took me four years of searching and uh, finding out the, the right company. And um, so... Rolf, you were just telling us too, by coincidence, you ran into Forever on a cruise ship, right? <laughs> in, yeah. in, in a sort of way. 
Tell us Absol about that. Absolutely, absolutely. So I was uh, successful in another network company before and I was invited to, uh, to a cruise from Miami to the Bahamas. And I didn't like the people on board. And uh, I went to, uh, to, to a bookshop and I bought a magazine, the American magazine Success. And there I read an article uh, which was um, overlined with uh, the silent giant continues growing. And uh, that was an interview with, uh, with Rex Morn. And, um, okay. Um, and I left the boat. So I was really touched by that article. And um, so I'm completely the opposite of the picture you have of a, of a networker. So being, um, yeah, so powerful on stage and um, how you say loud. it? Yeah, and loud and stuff like this. So I'm more silent and quiet and uh, more in the back. And um, so I was really touched by this article. So I immediately left this Herbalife boat, um, took the next flight, went home and sent a fax. So most of you, you don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> So it was before emails and uh, <laughs> WhatsApp messages. And um, I sent a fax to, to the home office. And uh, the next morning, the MD at this time for Germany, he called me and he said, OK, so we are planning to open Germany. And uh, if you like, come over. It was not so far away from my, uh, from my place. And um, yeah, we met there. And uh, we agreed that we should work something together. And uh, then this, this uh, success story starts, started. Can you imagine that? Rolf Kitt walks in and says, can I join your business? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see. I'll check my calendar, you know? <laughs> wow. And you, you mentioned a point there, which is, I think is really interesting, is the fact that the success is about being who you are and not trying to be somebody else. And that's something you've done throughout your entire experience in forever. So I think this is the most important that um, especially forever gives, gives you the opportunity to be yourself, never be a copy of someone else. So uh, we all have things in us. Um, they are really important for becoming successful. And uh, what we all have to understand that we only need 25 people. They're really fit to us, only 25, 25 and they do the manager position uh, and then it's more or less done, yeah, uh, especially from the financial side. Um, and therefore we don't have to be what we are not. So be happy and proud of what you are. And um, so there's no one who has or who can do everything in a perfect way. So it's the best way and the best platform forever for me to learn, to become better, to make mistakes uh, and always have someone who can tell you, OK, so do it a bit more this or more this and more this. And uh, believe me, so I know it because so I'm almost 30 years in this business. Um, so this is the best community of people you can find in the world. And what we were talking about before. So we are here in a little space, so many different nationalities so different people, yeah, so different needs and uh, wishes and goals, but we all live in peace and friendship together. And uh, so we help and support each other. So it's rarely to find, especially nowadays. It's not very often that I say this, but we could finish right there. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know, just that, the statement, I, I know just from being in this business long enough that everyone longs to hear that. And the coming from you, triple diamond manager, um, been in the business since 95, qualified level three chairman's bonus since the beginning. Definitely have earned more in chairman's bonus than anyone else. Um, and here's something that's really amazing, and I know you always pull this out. Eagle manager qualified with 18 eagle manager legs. Only. <laughs> it's not enough, it's right, not enough. <laughs> And I know everybody in this room and everyone in the ship and everyone in the forever world thinking 18 eagle manager legs is remarkable. It's amazing. And yet you say, I did that by being myself and focusing on 25 people and just stayed consistent. That is the essence of forever, eh? 
No, you're not alone. No. Um, and and we, we've seen both sides of Rolf. We've seen Rolf uh, pre-Dominique. In fact, we, we say pre-Dominique. <laughs> and we say post-Dominique. And we know which one we love. Um, Post-Dominique is much better than pre-Dominique. Um, Dominique, you, you came into the picture a little while along this journey. What are some of the observations you've made as you've watched um, the transition from where the business was and to where it is today? You know, I started Ferris almost 17 years ago, and um, the way I started Ferris was not completely different was what I'm working nowadays. But of course, uh, of course, there was Facebook existing. But I actually didn't use Facebook um, for building up the business, and of course, it was kind of not actually slower, but um, so I'm very happy that we are going back now more to offline work. I like to see you around and hug you and even the same with our teams. Um, but of course, I saw there are no borders anymore, you know, with the di digital things we can use nowadays. There are no borders. So as well, we, of course, our main, com or main uh, business is in Dach. But uh, our plan, of course, is to work more in America and but even stay in Europe with our family so we can use the digital things nowadays to really break the borders and yeah, get to know other people's people and start doing business with people abroad. And yeah. just for our international audience, when you say dark, that's Germany, oh, Austria, yeah, Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, because they might be wondering, where's the dog region, you know? Like dark <laughs> region, so. But I, I want to go back to this eagle manager thing. You know, of all of the GLT, the top leaders in the world, you guys are the ones that, and, and this is meant in, in no way to slight anyone else's, you've really grasped hold of the eagle, eagle manager program. Why is it so important to you in your business? Um... As you know, we like to have success and reach one day centurion and stuff like this. But you know, when there is one point in life or even in the forever business where you don't think about money or stuff that you could buy. It's more about the people. And you know, we want to have this sustainable business as we grow up our kids and of course they say we want to do forever and since they say this it's even more important to build a really stable business and of course we have seen before Eagle Manager came to the forever business that managers they dropped and that's why we start really speaking with the people from supervisor position about this Eagle Manager because this makes everything more stable and a stable income. Stable which is income. Very important. So we want to have more and more people um, having the same opportunity as we have to do forever, full time, not part time. Therefore, it's for most of the people very important to have a stable and sustainable income. And so, bringing out the the, the eagle manager qualification. So I think that was one of the biggest game changes in forever history. And um, so not only reaching a position, so also having the money. Because you can't buy something for the position, you only can buy when you really earn the money. And therefore, it's very important to have a stable business. And so that's why we have the focus in every meeting we have. So we always talk about the Eagle Manager qualification and how important it is. And we always remind our teams um, about the deadline for the qualification, 20, 24, 25. Um, so this is important and uh, this is very easy to teach also. So this is duplicatable, what is also necessary for a network business, that it's simple and duplicatable. And I think as well, it, if there is a secret, um, I would say, you know, bringing people into the business is quite easy, but to keep them for years and years with you in this business and it's, yeah, I said one part is earning money, but the other part is coming to an event like this, that the people they're gonna trust and they believe in this forever business, they get really connected in. You cannot do this when they're sitting at home on their own. It will never happen. And of course, the step from manager to go to global rally was bigger 
and now it gets very close to them so they see how oh, we can reach this position we can meet these successful people and get in touch with you all and this is something I think this really makes the belief in this company and that's very important that you can keep the people in your business for a very very long time or even forever it's really interesting that because you remember when we were with Kaz in Tokyo he talked about health um, community and and finances and it's funny how you've sort of like mm -hmm. encompassed all of those things you know and, and we'll talk a lot about the product in a minute because I know that of the, of the thing that is most important to you definitely is, is product so but so and I'm trying to build a road map as you teach us today the idea of being yourself um, the idea of keeping it simple and duplicatable and then you talked about focusing on the incentive you know and, and this incentive was you were part of the design group that made it um, and and so I think there's great lessons that we can learn from that um, as you've watched the evolution of the business, Rolf, you know, think about from when you very first started, what are some of the significant changes you've seen? Okay, so when I go back almost 30 years ago, um, so in average I had 310 flights every year to go wow. from one city or to, from one country to the next. So that changed completely. Yeah, with the, in the digital world, so it, uh, we can talk and reach everyone all over the globe. So it became much easier, definitely much easier. So when I remember uh, the first years, so running from one hotel room to the next, so I knew almost every airport in the world, yeah, and the, uh, the best business hotel, but I didn't see the cities and I didn't see the country. So I was always uh, one day there, three meetings a day with my, you don't know what I'm talking about, my overhead projector. <laughs> so I had and my, <laughs> my presentation and I, and I mostly I had my, uh, my projector with me because I wasn't sure, especially in some countries, if they have these technical equipment. So I had to carry all these bags with me. Uh, so I was traveling a lot. It was really fun to see my people um, all over the world. Um, so that became much easier right now to stay in contact with people. Um, it's faster right now, of course, that yeah, you can work much faster. But the question is, is faster better because people didn't change so we are still almost so physically almost the same <laughs> but the technical things are overtaking us and running faster and faster and faster I think we always have to lean back and think about I only need 25 only 25 becoming manager to become a diamond so I think um, that we have to r row a bit back and think about the needs people have. Yeah. So faster isn't better because we as human beings are not becoming faster and faster and faster. So we have our needs. We need the hugs. We need the time. We need people listen to us. So this is the game changer today. Uh, it's not just reaching the masses. It's just being with your people and develop your business step by step with lots of love. Yeah, what we spread here in forever. Really, really being interested in people. Uh, so that didn't change. So I think over the years, people forgot it. And I thought, okay, so I have to reach the masses via the digital things. Um, no, you need what we all need. People, they are listening to us. Um, what you said, that was one of the most important things, Gary, what you said um, in the last GLT, it's not listening to give an answer. So it's listen to understand what they really want. And from time to time, not give directly an answer and say, okay, so this is the solution and this is my offer I have. So think, okay, let me think about and I will come back to you tomorrow. Um, with a fitting offer yeah, and what forever the products and the business really can do for you. So this is much more important and this is what attra yeah, attracts you to other people that um, let people stay with you for a long time. 
So being fast and running and using people for building your business, um, I think they will pay you back sooner or later. Yeah, if you were using them. So take your time. Think about only 25. I forgot what you was asking for. I think it's interesting how <clears throat> I remember you told us not too long ago that you guys, you know, you were talking about your overhead projector and your presentations. And you were mentioning to us how you were going all digital and then you went back to a physical, yeah, to a f flip, to a chart, physical right? flip chart. Tell about that, what your experience was with that. This is really amazing because this for me in network marketing is the only thing what is really duplicatable. Because so this online world for my generation right now, so it's so far away. So I never will become a professional in all these social media things. But having my flip chart with me, <laughs> yeah, a professional presentation, you only have to change the slides and in, on the backside, so it's exactly what you have to say. <laughs> so that helps our people from the first minute they are joining the business to do a professional product and a professional business presentation. So they don't have to learn. So, okay. So while practicing, while doing presentations more often, so they become more and more professional. But we have people, they have a success rate of 98% while working with a flip chart, only changing slides. And this is duplicatable. So you rarely find someone who said, okay, so I can't do that. Yeah, that's very simple. And I think also in our very fast and digital world, so we should think about these things and we should think about these people. They take time and they like to spend time with others. So it's weird. Back in Germany, where I basically come from, more than, so the population is 80 million people and more than 7 million people, 7 million people, go to the doctor every month without having anything. And why, why do they do that? There's nobody else they can talk with. So they go to the doctor because they know, okay, so I pay him and he has to listen. So, and the world, especially our social media world, so people are sitting at home alone, yeah? So they need people to talk to. And this is network marketing. Yeah, paying attention to the needs of the people, talking to people, listen, not to give an answer, listen to understand what they really need. And the amazing and unique thing we have in forever is that we can, well, we have solutions for more than 95% of the problems people have. So when people talk about their challenges, problems they have, so they talk about something about health, being in shape, overweight, underweight. Yeah, don't look the way I want to look. Don't have the, the fitness I want to have and, 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 and. And on the other side is the other percentages is uh, about money, about my job, yeah, about not earning the money. And we have the key, we got the key from the Mon family um, that we can solve these problems. We have solutions for every health thing, for every health challenge. We have solutions for every financial and job challenge people have. But first we have to find out what they really want. And then we can place our offer and we can give them the solutions for their problems. And when you are in network marketing, if you are someone who can solve problems, so people want to talk to you. People like to need you or to meet you. So this is the important thing. So then you don't have to run after people. Yeah. Listen to me. I have an offer. I have the best products. I have the best company. So that's not the thing. Listen what they need and tell them, okay, we have a solution for you. We can solve your problems with these and these and these products, with joining the business, building a business. And if you are a problem solver, Everybody wants to talk to you. Okay, that was quite a lot. Sorry. No, I was, yeah. I that was that. incredible. Yeah. If you're a problem <laughs> solver, you're a winner. Uh, you know, that's great. But you know, the thing about the flip chart as well, you know, there, 
Nowadays, of course, everyone is asking themselves why someone can say no to this opportunity. But <laughs> most of the people say no because, you know, when you speak to them, they think, ah, you can do this, but me, can't. no. Mm. So people, they will say no before they would say, okay, I cannot do, but I want to learn. So people, they don't, most of them, there are some, they like to get step out of their comfort zone and they want to very change few, something. Yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> few. But most of them, they say no. But when you can show them how easy it is, so everyone can turn the page and read what's written there. So then you can present like this and everyone will say, okay, what you can do, I can do. And if I can earn a lot of money like you, of course I will do. So even the first step to show them the business has to be very simple and easy. So everyone has to say yes. The, that intimidation factor has been lowered as, yeah. as they're coming into the business. Definitely. I want to go back to, to what you're both saying that I think is a really important point. And that is, it, some people might look at you 30 years into your journey and see all that you have and all that you've achieved and everything and say, wow, it's okay for them. Um, but you mentioned it, 300 flights a year, the amount of work that has to go in to be successful in our business. And I think that that's another key point, right, that people have to understand. This isn't easy. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It, it, it takes a massive amount of work to, to build what you guys have. And, and that's part of one of the the attributes that comes out of our growth mentality is W is for work. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the importance of having a consistent work ethic in our business. So a sustain, sustainable success only will come on the base of constant working in this business. And therefore, I think the most important thing is not only loving the goals you want to reach. So it's much more important because more, t more time than reaching goals or you, you spend with reaching goals is the time you spend with your daily work, with contacting people, doing presentations, selling products, sponsoring people. So what we both have, even if we are almost 30 years uh, of 24. Age, or 24 <laughs> years of, uh, apart. of uh, yeah, apart age difference. Um, so we both love the process. Yeah, the daily work. This is what we love. So that we reach goals on the way of constantly doing and sponsoring new people, selling products and doing presentations. So on the way, um, doing that, so we reach this and that, and we do our qualifications and then, but it's, it's the result, it's the result of the work we do on a daily basis. So it's not that we are working on um, reaching this or reaching the chairman's bonus, no. So what we do is we say, okay, so we do five presentations every day. We like to sponsor minimum five people first line uh, a month or more. Um, so we don't want to limit ourselves. So that's why we always say, say okay, more. so we do or more. <laughs> yeah. um, so, and by this, by doing this and loving this work every day, um, so we reach the several positions in the forever marketing plan, which is the best guideline you can have. Because, so nowadays for people it's, difficult um, to, to set goals yeah, and what could be important and uh, so the marketing plan and the incentives are the best guide for everyone at the beginning um, before you create your own things because at the beginning you don't know what is really possible for you. So therefore take the guideline forever as given to us and uh, then start creating your own goals, lean back, speak with your partner, speak with your family. So what you want to reach, what is the next financial step you want to do? And uh, what we do, so we, uh, we are building our wealth. And when we say, okay, so we like to do this or that, or the kids like to have a new horse or that. So then we say, okay, so family is coming together. And we say, okay, so we have to work extra hours. We have to sponsor more people because we never take money from our wealth. So we have to 
do extra work. And by that way, we are always motivated, especially so you are gifted when you have kids because kids, they have every second day something new they want. Yeah. <laughs> and they have no ideas uh, or they, they, they create ideas you never, have. never had. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as good parents, so that pushes you forward and we really love it. So we want to, to make our kids having the best life, the best education and and, 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 and. and uh, that makes us running also. So very important. But one thing I definitely have to say because so we always hear uh, leaving the comfort zone and uh, you have to push people outside the comfort zone. What we all have to success. Pushing people out of their comfort zone is like uh, swimming against the stream. So the big business is inside the comfort zone of the people. And this is one of the reasons Forever is so successful because people don't have to leave their comfort zone. We are talking about toothpaste. We are talking about juices. We are talking about nutrition, shampoo and stuff like this. So Dominic, she is very interested in cosmetic products and, 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 and machines and massage things and stuff like this. And um, so we buy this and we try it, but it never finds the way inside our comfort zones. So we use it. So I also have to try so it. After two weeks, yeah. it's somewhere. After two weeks. So I take it and. <laughs> and I say, you look, but we, every day we use the forever product because it's so easy, because it's something that we. Every we all day. grew up with. Yeah. Yeah. With toothpaste and shampoo and stuff like this. So we don't have to change our habits. Yeah. But with uh, machines and stuff and something special. No. So you have it because when you are motivated, so use, you use it maybe for two or three weeks and then bin away. Bye bye. So, but at the end, for the last 30 years, the forever products. So true. Yeah. The forever products are always in our daily use. So think about success and building a big business always inside the comfort zone because most of the people, they don't want to be pushed out of their comfort zone. They are comfortable the way they are. And uh, so that's why is Aiden is promoting that uh, many times and always, I would say. So for example, a, a toothpaste, toothpaste, tooth yeah, tooth yes. gel. So it's so easy. So this is a product. You only have to get rid of the old one and use the forever product. So therefore you don't have to change your habits. Yeah. So this is one of the yeah, best products to step into a family yeah, with these products because they can start smoothly yeah, with such a product. So they don't have to change lives. So they don't have to leave their comfort zone. Because at the end, the only one you can push every or try to push every day out of your comfort zone, it's, it's yourself. yourself to try to get better every day, make sure you do your five to 10 contacts. If you do it, do five more. But the only one or the only person you can really push every day, it's yourself. Mm -hmm. We are not in a people changing no. business. No, so we are in the business, give the people what they want. And Sometimes they don't know what they want. So we have to help <laughs> them a bit, but on a smooth way. And then we can see the way they will go, if they will change, if they come and say, okay, so I want to go out of my comfort zone. So then we can help them. But, um, and this is a point as well, why people stay with you, because they feel you don't use the people, you leave them how they are. If they want to change, they will come to you. That's always what we offer them. If you want to do more, you know, where I, where you can reach me, but we don't push them. You know, we want that they are be happy. If it's just buying 10 toothpaste a, a month, it's fine. If they want to do business, it's fine. They know where we can that get. It's not on us to make people do more. If I want to have more in business, it's me. I have to do more. And then you have to find another wow. person. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It's not yeah, on pushing no, it's, people. It, let me, I'm going to play a little bit of <laughs> Garen Breinholt here, uh, a little bit of devil's advocate, because I know there's, there's, there's people who listen to what you're saying, and, and, and with all due respect, they're confused, because they, they hear a message out here, which is, you got to be on social media, you got to be here, you got to be here, you got to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you're giving the message of, hey, 
you, you, you just got to be calm. And I love that success is found in your comfort zone because as you were saying that, I'm trying to formulate questions and at the same time I'm listening and my, my brain's all over the place. <laughs> but um, the, I, if, I, if I'm in, the, in this sort of like the, the sort of digital world right now and I'm listening to what you're saying, how do I marry those two? Because I know you do. I know that it's not like you, you're not doing those things, but you do it in a much more gentler way and maybe within that comfort zone. So what, what, if, if I was trying to do that today, what advice would you give me? On, let me structure that a little bit better. Is to marry the digital outreach with the traditional value. How do I do that? It's, so it's very, it's very simple. When you, so it always starts with yourself. So when you really face what you need, what you want. Um, and this is someone who is listening to you. So this you can do online, offline. We do it online and offline. So we do uh, every day certain amount of, uh, of, Zoom, of Zoom meetings. We use uh, social media to attract and to contact people. Therefore, it's absolutely perfect. But then we try to come with these people as soon as possible together, yeah? To speak with them in person. We invite them to our place, coming to Mallorca or to Dubai or wherever, um, so that we can meet them. So we are traveling a lot and we try to meet our people to uh, several places in the world. So um, to start a relationship, so most of the relationships, most of the marriages uh, today, so they start in an online uh, <laughs> portal. But um, so then it's very important as it is, yeah, in these uh, contact things. So they have to come together. Yes. Yeah? So they have to meet in person. So it starts digital and online, but uh, you should do everything to come with these people together. So to, uh, to, uh, to meet them and to, to stabilize this relationship because so it's nice to see all these people yeah, behind the glass like fishes in the aquarium. But uh, this is not what we need. So we have to touch, we have to see, we have to look in faces. So we have to touch them and hug them. And this is building deeper relationships, I think, than only this online stuff. But we are doing so. I'm so I love um, AI. Yeah, AI. So I do. I Nowadays, he speaks more with the AI than with me. <laughs> <laughs> Chat GPT. <laughs> yeah, Chat GPT is amazing. He was asking it's me not as good enough. advice, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, so I do for different target groups, I think three, four, five new presentations uh, every week. So I have my people in Fiverr, so they do my, uh, my PowerPoints, and uh, so Chat GPT is doing all the wording and everything. So that's amazing. So before, so it costed a fortune to do that and uh, lots of time. Now we can do it. So we need three days, three to four days to, to have a new presentation for a new target group. So for us, it's like fishing. Yeah. As more fishing rods you have yeah, outside. So as more fishes you can get. And uh, this is exactly what we do. So um, fishing all over the world, so and this is mostly the digital world we use, um, to use all these technical things, they are possible right now, so I can speak from one day to the other, every language, so I sent to my friends to Romania for the 25th <laughs> birthday in perfect Romanian language, a message, <laughs> yeah, um, to Japan, yeah, Dominic sent in perfect Japanese a message, so these are the tools, so they help us, and I think they were made for as networkers, yeah, because it helps us to build a worldwide business without speaking the languages, without being professional in writing texts and uh, doing presentations. So we are supported by these digital world and this is fantastic. And even for me, um, it helps me a lot doing presentations for these target groups. I say, okay, so these and the best ages and the mummies and the uh, generations that so you see me two, three hours per day. So I do new presentations. I'm really happy with that. And then I take them out and uh, let's see how they attract people, how many, how it works. Because at the beginning, we never know how it will work, but we do it on a daily basis, just creating new things, new ideas. And we always have two things in mind, how we can make, how we can make our business 
more simple because if it's more simple, it attracts more people. More people design, okay, if it's so simple, I can do it. Um, and the other thing is um, to attract different target groups, bigger ones, smaller ones, but always bring something out yeah, to attract them and uh, to make them come back to us. Doesn't matter when, we are here. And um, so we are planning our business forever for a lifetime. So even when they come in a year, in two or three or five or 10 years, so they will yeah. find us. And uh, <laughs> that was the first thing we did. So we made sure that there is the next generation coming up. So the kids are waiting. And um, even when someone will contact us in 20 years, so they will reach one of the Kip family uh, <laughs> and they can start a business or they can take the products. Well, I love it. I, I, yeah, absolutely. I think that's a perfect um, place to end. We, we've covered, I don't know how many nautical miles as we've been steaming south down the Adriatic, <laughs> um, but a, a, a kind of a lifetime, a journey that you've shared with us has been remarkable. And uh, I think that all of us, uh, there's things that we can learn, things we can take from that. But, you know, the message that screams to us is, simple, is to keep it simple, duplicatable. Um, and I love where we started with being authentic. Just be who you are and do the very best you can. Uh, your love of the product we know is, is unmatched, unrivaled. Um, and your love of the business and your example. And, you know, uh, I think on behalf of, you know, Greg, myself and our live studio audience, thank you for being so, so wonderful. Thank you for being a part of Forever. And thank you so much for walking into that office in 1995 in Frankfurt, Germany, the old car showroom and saying, hey, you know what? I think we can do something with this. So on behalf of all of us, thank you. And that's it. That's the close of our Powered by Forever podcast here from the um, boat heading south. We love you all. We appreciate you. And we'll see you all next time. Ciao, ciao. Thank you, guys.